Hello, uh, welcome to our uh, market update. Now I've got three uh, charts for you to run through. First up, we have the US Tech 100. This is the NASDAQ 100. Um, this is uh, the US tech stocks, really. Uh, it's what we're looking at, growth stocks, uh, your uh, uh, big names uh, uh, in the tech space are, are, are on this index. So what I want to look at is just, just the move um, that we've been seeing over the last well, few months, really. We've had this downtrend and we had this uh, very aggressive bear market rally through uh, July and into August, peaking out towards the middle of August, and we've since uh, declined. And now we're at this level here where we're actually testing the June low. So I think the June low comes in around 11,036. I make that 11,036. And just in the last few days, we've been testing 11,000 uh, uh, again. So we're just nudging towards that um, that uh, that level from the June low. And the S&P 500 yesterday, the broader market, that's the uh, USA 500, it uh, declined to a new uh, closing low for the year to date. The Dow Jones has already pushed on through its uh, June lows. The Nasdaq just about holding up despite rising interest rates. So tech offering some cover maybe uh, at the moment, but you just look at this uh, decline and you look to see um, where where we go from here. I think this area that we that we tested obviously has offered some support because we have got a little bit of a bounce uh, today. We are nudging up here. Um, trend remain overall trend remains bearish. This was a rejection on the inflation data that came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you've since had the Federal Reserve hiking interest rates aggressively. You've had the Bank of England um, uh, last week in the mini budget sending. Uh, uh, bond markets into a bit of a spin and that's uh, affected uh, sentiment across um, across the market and the the tech space not being being uh, immune to that so we're looking to see whether or not we breach this June low I think if we head down towards the June low then your next level of support is really around 10,500 around here this sort of 68 percent 61.8 percent retracement level uh, here and that's if we draw that back to there roughly uh, about there. Uh, so that's really our next level of support, uh, probably coming in here, uh, 10,500 if we do breach it. If we do get a rally, and there are signs that we are uh, nudging towards a rally, uh, both breadth um, and uh, price momentum indicators, as you can see here, the RSI just turning up from didn't want to get into oversold territory just yet. Um, just sig signaling maybe we're due, near, due a near term bounce. So we would look potentially to see if we can recover 12,000 if it does uh, break through at this level here, which is 11,600. Uh, so you're looking up towards that level uh, there. Um, but there's a lot of risk and there's US inflation data out on Friday that we need to bear in mind. That's uh, our first chart. Second chart of the day. Uh, what else but cable? Um, it uh, was under a heap of pressure, obviously, Monday, early trading on Monday in the Asian session. Maybe just something of a catch up for the Asian markets and trading on very little news, but uh, reacting um, quite poorly to the budget on Friday. We have seen recovery, though, and we're back to where it did close on Friday. So all that move has been uh, retraced, and that's uh, that's certainly something uh, to consider when you're uh, 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 thinking that the pound is bound to hit parity against the dollar. Uh, it is uh, is very cheap right now, and it can bounce quite rapidly, um, as you can see there. So on the daily charts, um, really, it's a tough one to call because. You got this um, dragonfly doji yesterday, the candle there. That's a traditionally a reversal, so big rejection move. Essentially, the market trading through this level, but then uh, being firmly rejected. And we are seeing a bit of strength just coming, creeping into it today. But the macro picture, the uh, economic picture, the monetary policy picture, uh, none of it looks terribly inspiring from the UK point of view. The Fed. Um, Speakers in the last day or two have made it clear that they're not going to stop raising rates just yet. And uh, the Bank of England yesterday didn't signal that it was going to do an emergency hike. So markets repricing some of those aggressive rate hike bets that we saw yesterday. So cable trading is dicey at the moment, is all I would say. Um, but, um, you know, 
you've traded through this level before, there's no reason why it can't trade through this level again. Chart three, I want to look at the VIX. There we go, VIX. Uh, just because, uh, going back to US equities, this is the obviously the, uh, the S&P 500 uh, volatility index that shows the cost of um, buying uh, protection, downside protection um, for the next 30 days um, on the S&P 500. And yesterday we did see a move. Soon the VIX being very, very sedate all year, really, despite uh, that's uh, the pandemic. That was the spike during the pandemic. And we've seen brief flurries of activity, um, but really the VIX not doing a heck of a lot this year. It's been a bit of a, 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 a the market's just accepted the grind higher, the grind lower, sorry. But yesterday we did get this breakout from our trend. So I've drawn this a while back uh, there, that trend there. So we've broken out, but we're not really at levels at which you call capitulation. So looking to see if this moves up. Um, you know, if if you get a sort of burst lower in the S and P and a burst higher on the VIX, then that's when you start to to look at um, buying, uh, maybe buying into those markets or buying into the S and P. Um, there was a note out the other day where you they were saying nibble at 3,600 on the S and P. We just have a quick look at the S and P. Nibble at 3,600. Um, bite at 3,300 and absolutely gorge at 3,000. So the implication, I think it's from Bank of America, uh, the implication that you get back to 3,000 though, it implies a fairly significant repricing. And so you'd see that VIX market explode higher. And that's really when you want to see the bottom. That's when I think the bottom comes in. You get uh, VIX exploding higher and the S&P cratering down towards the 3,000 level then then you get the genera generational lows, uh, which is what we're all looking for to invest in. And that that is um, our top three markets of the day. And I wish you a good day's trading. I'll speak to you later in the week. Thanks for watching.